existing on. Okay. Hi everyone. Um, I'm doing something a little bit different today. I think. Um, we're going to be playing a game that I got gifted for for Christmas. It's called, well, as you can see from the title screen, the Cosmic Wheel Sisterhood. It's supposed to be about uh, doing like tarot cards and stuff, which is uh, something that I'm very much interested in. I have like eight decks or something, so I think this is up my alley. Yeah. See, there's a content warning. This game tackles sensitive themes and content including self-harm, suicide, discrimination, gender dysphoria, depression, and anxiety, nudity, sexual themes, queer language, use of legal drugs. So... I guess I can just edit... Anything because, like, nudie woodies. <laughs> uh, but if all the other stuff that... And makes you uncomfortable, feel free to set this one out. Maybe listen to one of my, um, one of my other videos. Uh, plenty of, like, relaxing, listen to this while you fall asleep type of stuff, if that's more your vibe. Let's go ahead and start. Oh, so I like how she looks. She's pretty. Eternal void, heed the words of a prisoner. I beg of you, send me a curse to break this immortal isolation. Hear the chant my mentor once forbid me to recite. Stranger to my soul, invade my body. Stranger to my soul, invade my mind. Grant me an eye to see beyond my torment. Take my pride, my sorrow, and my chains. Turn them into power, wisdom, revenge. Stranger to my soul, invade my magic. Stranger to my soul, become my faith. That's a beautiful song. It feels great to be awakened again. Mm. Who are you? Hello. My name is Fortuna. I am a witch. Why did you summon me? Because I would rather lose my pride than my sanity. Sounds fun. Tell me more. I was condemned to exile by the leader of my coven. Today marks the 200th year of my millennium long sentence. And... I can't take it anymore. I need your help. What do you use as a clock? Humanity's cradle, planet Earth. Oh, 200 years. That's quite some time. I feel you. I had been in prison for 5,402 years since until you summoned me. Isolation can really do a number on you. I will help you. I shall become your familiar. Thank you. Arbamar? Now, get comfortable. We are going to seal a contract. First of all, allow me to express my gratitude. I am really thankful you freed me from my cosmic prison. Um, of course, you are welcome. Is something the matter? Not really. It's just that after all the reading I did about behemoths, I didn't expect your behavior to be so mundane. Whoa. Mundane? <laughs> that hurts. Oh, um... I mean, you're still intimidating, but I always pictured you speaking in archaic poetry or something like that. <laughs> I 
like you. I like you so much, I'm going to let you pick the terms of our contract. You will still have to pay a high price for my magic, though. I'm well aware of that. I won't back off. Tino so far reminds me of my, um, of one of my previous uh, Pathfinder characters. <laughs> Already. Not sure why. Alright, then let's begin your training. The ceremony is five days long. Let me know when you're ready to begin. Right now. <laughs> you are already my favorite master. The first day is the easiest one, an interview so we can get to know each other. Listen one, a minutes. Tell me about yourself. What is your specialty? You know, I just realized I'm in the way. Uh, can I flip this? I am a fortune teller. One of my favorites. Would you mind doing a reading for me? I can't. As a part of my sentence, Idana banished my tarot deck. Idana is the leader in my coven. Well, you must have done something really great to get exiled and deprived of your magic. I... I foretold the falling of my coven. Bleak, but how are your visions your fault? After my premonition, the coven was consumed by despair. Many witches ca came to me for counsel to prepare f before the end times. Idana didn't like that. She holds supreme authority over our co coven, so she decided to, ex to exile me to this wand wandering asteroid. Our leader determined that even if all covens must fall eventually, advertising their demise only pushes the cat the catastrophe forward. Adana decided my power posed a great danger to the peace inside our coven. She concluded that I had to learn to reason instead of relying exclusively on my gift. So I was sentenced to meditate for a millennium, deprived of my deck. Since I'm here, I deduce that you don't agree with your leader's judgment. She was afraid of my influence. Many of our sisters put their trust in my advice. I'm sure that Hag thought I was undermining her supremacy decided to cast me out. You sure sound sour about it. But would you kill her should you have the chance? <sighs> would be more interesting. I think... Let's say yes. Yes. So you are a potential killer. I'm glad we have established that. Okay, I will help you recover your powers. Will you get me a new tarot deck? Tarot? <laughs> no. I mean, tarot is cute, but it is, it is too human-centric to grasp the hidden truths of the cosmos. You will create your own deck. My own deck? I wouldn't even know where to begin. Shh. Leave the, de de leave the details to me. That is what these five days of training are for. You're going back to witch school, Fortuna. For this training, we will review the four basic elements of magic. Air, water, earth, and fire. Otherwise known in the Terra system as... Swords, cups, pentacles, and wands. Oh, no. Don't worry, it will be fun. Plus, you'll get to seal a contract with me for each of those energies. Now, get some rest. Tomorrow, we will start the invisible with the invisible energy, air. Lesson 2. 
context. Or is that 11? I'm assuming it's 2. First day of school. Are you nervous? To be honest, I'm just happy to hear- to be able to hear something other than my own voice. <laughs> that, that's cool. Today we are going to talk about air. I'm going to focus on what will be useful for creating our own divination deck. Understood. Air represents the visible, the negative space, that which imbues everything. Air is the collective subconscious, an energy within a community, the ecosystem. Air is everything that surrounds us. Air is... Context. Exactly. Master your air and you will acquire unparalleled awareness. There is power in knowing one's place. Even when isolated, you are one with the cosmos. Now, for the first part of our contract, we will seal our air energies together. Yes, please. As I promised, I will let you decide the nature of every seal. You just need to, you just need to answer a question. But careful. The answers will affect your fate, dramatically. I'm ready. For the air seal, how do you want to be perceived? I'll answer how I would answer first, I guess. Um, I want to be feared, I want to be adored, I want to be pitied. Uh, I think... Well, looking at myself, I want to be loved. <sighs> but do I want to be taken, like, pitied, or do I want to be, like, adored? Like, do I want people to fawn over me versus have wanting people to take pity on me, like a child? Um... I should answer answer truthfully and see where this goes. I want to be I want to be pitied. <laughs> this feels like a lesson in shadow. <laughs> you're that desperate for tender and loving care, huh? It is good that you're sincere, though. Thank you. In any case, bear in mind that pity can get you protection, but you will rarely be respected. I know. I understand. Allow me to seal our air energies together, then. <sighs> that hurt. That felt good. Can't you feel the power? Yes, I feel it, but I also felt like I was tearing apart. Well, girl, I am a behemoth after all. What did you expect? I know, I know. I could take it. Good. Now focus on that bit of air energy we unlocked. We're going to use it to create our first card. I notice you have a ceremonial tokonoma for witchcraft in the basement. What the fuck is a tokonoma? Head over there and we'll teach you how to create cards. I'm gonna have to Google that later. Great card. Oh. <laughs> this is the Arcane Grimoire. The Opera House, an enchanted opera house that magnifies the emotions of anything sung inside its chambers. Energy costs. Uh huh. Here you'll acquire magic images that can be used to craft your cards. There are three types. Spheres for the backgrounds. Arcana for the main figure on the card. With symbols to add some magic pizzazz to your comp compositions. They all cost magic energy to summon. Right now you can only acquire air type elements because we've only unlocked the air seal. But you can go in and browse the grimoire to savor your future creations. <laughs> Quick, yeah, let's go ahead and look at it. Can I like move myself like a little bit? Yeah, the the that'll work. 
Let's go with Opera House. Oh my god, there's a lot. Um, the state of knowledge. The astral behemoth that hides behind... I guess that the only thing I can get is Harpy Herald. Right? Oh, or the shaman. Um, are those the only two I can choose? Coming your newfound past and it's been spreading a part of the sky. So come and come and says she was created by the blah blah blah. Shamans have taken care of the soul and heart of many tribes since the birth of the mortal kin. These mortals can grasp a blur of the ideas the witches weave into the light of the stars. Um, let's do a harpy. It makes it even like full sex drink or something. Jesus. Okay. Golden shovel, the last bladed tool forged by the gold blow. Well, as I said, I want to use onyx tr trumpet. Now build your first card. Um, you can move the background, drag, and rotate, or scale the images around. Add as many images as you want from the stock at the side of the card. Don't worry, it won't cost you any extra energy. Put your soul into it. Um. I think if I were in meaning to this, possibly losing sight of what of what's important. I think I would do that. Okay. The meaning of, the, of a card varies depending on which elements you, you combined. Air element leans towards relationships, community, and karma. Pay attention to your studies so you tune your divination cell towards the ideas you fancy the most. A bit tricky at the beginning. The only way to master this is through experience. Standing ovation. Card luncheon. The chambers of the opera house make make all meanings resonate through every context. A strong avatar for justice imbued with purpose. The sound from the trumpet garners everyone's attention. A hurricane of air energy will stir luck and call for the unexpected meanings. Leadership, purpose, justice, predestination, luck. I guess if I came across this in like an oracle deck, I would read it as like you have a goal in your mind, you want to reach for it no matter the cost. You will do, make the sacrifices of what is necessary, of what needs to be done. Okay. Did you like it? It's a bit confusing. I don't really get how these cards will play out. I understand. As in tarot, this new deck will require some study and practice to draw out its true potential. But after you master it, these cards will truly jazz up your divination game. It will all make more sense when you try your hand at reading them. We'll wait until you meet at least two cards, though. There's not a lot of predestination in shuffling a single card. <laughs> I'm sorry, you must be tired. Go to bed and review the fundamentals of air. Tomorrow we will unlock your water. Thank you, Abramar. Thanks to you, Fortuna. I will make you happy. I promise. Good night. Do not be afraid of him. Become his master. Lesson three, emotion. Oh, 
fortuna, each day me cometh to teach us thee. For brief fifth is the cause of us and eternal thy grief. What are you doing? <laughs> I thought I could get more in character to satisfy your expectations. I'd rather focus on our studies. Oh, come on. You're not the only one excited about being able to talk to somebody after internal imprisonment. Listen up a bit. A leaf familiar. Quite charm aren't we studying today? What? <laughs> Colors me, art thee well. <laughs> stop, stop. I give up. Now come here and teach me your magic. <sighs> you were joking around, this will stop you from being intense. Okay, focus, Arbormar. Let's begin today's lesson. The second element we will unlock is water. Water represents substance, meaning the hidden nature of things. Water comes in many shapes, purpose, desire, willpower. Water is everything that lives inside of you. Water is emotion. That's a good synthesis, yes. Master your water, you will have the key to any heart and soul. This power and empathy and self-awareness. Water is it my forte, but I understand. Yeah, I noticed that. But don't worry, I'm here to support you. Now for the second part of our contract, we will seal our water energies together. Yes, please. Again, you decide the nature of our contract. Answer this question. And remember, your answer will affect your fate, dramatically. I know, I know. For the water seal, what is your innermost desire? Power, romance, knowledge. Um, let's say romance. Romance. I would just say love, but, you know, I, I didn't have that option. Hmm. Interesting that you specified romance and not just love. If it's sex I'm interested in, I can provide that. No need to waste a seal. Shut up. <laughs> romance it is, son. I was a joke about the sex, though. So. I mean, we've both been isolated for far too long. You're too big for me, my dude. <laughs> If you ever feel like it, I'd be happy to oblige. I have a question. Hmm. When will all the contracts we've been sealing become effective? Immediately. I mean, they are etched into the cosmic wheel as we speak. In time, when it will all come to you, you'll be pretty aware of the moment they're delivered. I see. I can tell you one thing for sure. They'll come in the same order we sealed them. First, you'll feel the community switch to start pitying you. The time you'll know those who will satisfy your thirst for moments. Then, whatever we steal on your earth will happen, and finally in the distant future, we'll, you'll pay the price we agree for the fi on the fire seal. A price, huh? Everything you ask for will come at a price. I guess your summoning spell is forbidden for a reason, huh? Having second thoughts? No. I need this. Seal is like a contract already. Brace yourself. Uh, my bones. <laughs> Girl, you have power. I just hope this torture is worth it. It will be. Have faith. Can I make a new card now? Yes. Same as yesterday. Head to the basement. Water and air, but mainly water. This makes me think of the moon card, so I'll choose this one.
It's gonna fit the best. I don't have enough air energy. Sure. And let's do Bonalus Shug. see what this is. Wolfram. The ever-boiling sea of tears grants access to the most profound emotions witness to many kinds of love. The bartender can channel hidden feelings, ever-flowing water from the jugs and represent inner desire. So hidden love? Flood of water, a flood of water can unleash hidden potentials. Communication, peace, yearning, passion, power. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh. Now, come upstairs. You're going to read the cards for me. Time for some divination. This is your area of expertise, so... You guide me through this. Okay, a card reading with just two cards, huh? Oh. We need to test if these really work, so I'll do a reading we can confirm on the spot. I'm going to read your past. Whoa, that's bold. I like it. I'm ready. <sighs> it's been a couple of centuries without my deck and maybe a bit rusty. You just enjoy it. You're among friends here. Okay, it's going to be a very simple reading. I'm going to draw a past. Uh, I'm going to draw a card and place it on the spot to read it. Read into your past. Here you go. Your life experiences lead you to despise most witches, but you love some of them. Your first love was a witch named Gloria. Um, let's do this something more, less, less direct. Your life experiences lead you to despise most witches, but you love some of them. The card is dead, right? Why is that? Do you despise me? No, I love you. Well, I was very grateful to whoever saves me from my slumber. But every time I am ex exiled, imprisoned, or broken apart is because of a witch. They are my natural enemy, but also my only salvation. That's why I hate li witches, but, love, but I love you. I'm sorry to hear that. How come witches always defeat you if you're that almighty? There's power in numbers. Can't beat a group of determined, well-organized witches. Must come and see me as a threat to the cosmic balance. Don't ever expose me to, to any of your witch friends. Or I guarantee you we will face some serious consequences. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you. Well, what was that? I felt an energy surge. Well, that's your deck harvesting energy. Whenever you do a reading, you'll harvest magic akin to the card you drew. Fortune telling will be your main source of energy once we seal our pact. I see. Alright, the cards work. They work like a charm, I must say. You're a good to fortune teller, my friend. Thank you. I really miss, miss this. <laughs> I 
almost forgot how exciting it is to dig into the secrets of the cosmic wheel. I'm so happy for you. And I'm so thankful, Abramore. <laughs> We're just getting started. Now go get some rest. Tomorrow we'll make another car to do some more divination. Looking forward to it. Good night. Evermore loves you. Do you think you'll, you will ever be able to love it being such a sim? Lesson 4. Strength. Why is my arms freaking out? Ugh. Yeah, they're, they're, they're freaking out. Ugh. So, I've been recording for like, almost an hour now, already? Um, though I don't know how long it's been for you guys yet. Um, well, do you, Earth and Fire, in the next part? This is very interesting to me so far, at least. I... I hope to see you guys in the next part. And I hope this is as interesting for you guys it is, as it is for me. Though in the next video it's probably going to be like another story, like story reading one. And then the video after that is going to be more of this. So, yeah. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.